Welcome to my Pure tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to cover how to convert the tracks of a tank using my conversion chassis which is available in public releases. You will have to update it yourself to like modern standards. Uh, that's only two things you need to put. In the main you just need to put a team and in settings you just need to put an ATGM cooldown that's all and then it works. But yeah. Um, this method you need your wheel parts so if you see this is the tank I'm converting I'm gonna get these wheel parts and I'm gonna slap them on this and I'm gonna show you how I do that so I have I have two parts inside of this one model as you see so I have the tire and the wheel because I'm too lazy to do textures and if you wanna do the same as me then all you have to do is put a weld constraint in one of these and just constrain it to the wheel itself and like that so now they're both attached um, so, if the, so if I leave them like this they will just drop anyways let's continue now um, first I'm gonna show you a bit of how the tracks work and how you can manipulate them the thing about my conversion kit, which is um, the reason you should probably use it, is I use weld constraints. So you can just drag these and nothing messes up. So, so you can play around with the size and stuff. So I'm just wanna I just wanna see I want because this has six wheels, you can see. So I wanna get it around this width. So if I just get these. So if I just get like yeah. So let's make these a similar size. So what I can do, I can just resize the tank. There's no constraints that are going to be affected by this. I removed all temporary welds, so you know, easy win, easy win. And just want to align these now. Um, first lesson: if you go to your left track and right track. You will notice if you select one and one, they're total opposites. So, what I advise you do is select, let's say, um, two and then five, and then you can just move these, move these to where your position should be around. Give me a second. Just now copy that with um, set three and set. Four. Four, yes, F four. I'm gonna give it a similar distance, and then set four and set three, and set two, and then set five. Yep, and then six and one. Just get it around the correct size. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually start pulling the um, wheels on. So we can actually see better. As you see, edit to side note. Who the fuck pronounces wheels as widdles? I don't know how I fucked up that badly. One thing to note before you do anything: if if you're wondering how I'm selecting inside of the model, I'm holding Alt and I'm clicking on it. So that's how you basically select stuff like that. Okay, let's begin with these wheels. These are the easiest wheels. Now if you look at this, this tank is rear-engined, so the sprocket is going to be here in the back. Um, we'll do the sprocket in a second, but right now I want to focus on the road wheels. Let's do these main road wheels before we do the small ones. So, well, for, well, first of all, I'm going to go to cosmetic. Now if you go to model, align tool. Active selection X, Y, and Z. It will align based on your final thing that you select. So if we select this, and if we just delete this now, you see this is in place. So I'm just gonna select this. I'm gonna drag it to the wheel we just removed. Uh, yep, like this. And I'm going to copy this weld constraint, drag it here into this, 
why is it not changing partner there we go and we're just going to select this and part one is going to become our wheel and as you see um, what we have here is um, the wheel in place now it will move it will move alongside the suspension if we test this in my place right now but I'm too lazy to actually test it um, but yeah you can do everything like resize but remember you can move it you'll accidentally pro you could accidentally move it off the axis um, now let's actually get the wheel size down because this is if I show you guys this is literally the size of the wheel right now this is not what we want so how to resize it in my wheel on ring well you just hold control left click and just lower it until like you're happy with the tolerance here um, now what I'm gonna do with this actually and you will like this trick it makes everything so much simpler I'm gonna search wheel I'm gonna use it Studio Build Suite, which is a plugin you can get. If I have the time, I'll actually pop it into the description. If I don't, somebody will remind me if you really want this, and if you've watched this far. I'm gonna select every wheel. I'm just gonna select every single fucking wheel. Every wheel. Literally every wheel. Grab that shit. And transparency, zero. Now what I'm gonna do, Resize center, uh, so resize this. What's obnoxious? You have to, <laughs> you have to. Um, I don't only do the step kind of last. But I don't mind doing it now. So you see, it's aligned like that. So everything here is now perfectly aligned, nicely. So I'm gonna actually keep the transparency back off but I'm gonna put the transparency back off because it's gonna be bothering me later. Um now let's go let's 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 do this, let's do this. So what's more complicated about this is um you see how these two are in the same set? So fuck. <laughs> I'll fuck that up. <laughs> Don't do what I did there. <laughs> but yeah. So all I wanna do is I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna align this again but I'm going to resize this to the correct size around there I'm going to delete this I'm going to copy the weld from here to here but now you have to, oh sorry there's already a weld here so <laughs> there's already a weld okay I'm going to select this again I'm, but this time I'm going to go to prismatic I'm going to scroll down you see wheel so this is the secondary wheel because there's two wheels here and same with the sprocket, so you can just do the same with the sprocket now. But yeah, that's about as complicated the system, uh, uh, as complicated as the system can get. So don't worry about that. Nothing else is gonna surprise you. Now let's make this a bit thicker. It's pretty simple to make it a bit more thick. Um, the x axis. So I'm gonna just set it to like two point two point two, and this is gonna be like two point. Five a bit, yeah, that's fine. Now let's get to the the worst part. You have to repeat this for every single wheel, every. This. So just have fun, pop some music on, and just yeah, um, just do this, and just 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 align them like this, and then just delete the decorative wheel. Uh, now what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna actually touch the weld yet. I'm just gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna keep doing this really quick, and then I'll do the welds in a second, um, so I can actually speed this process up. Um, select and then. Don't mind, don't, don't, you see, this doesn't mean it's completed though. So don't actually test this out yet because it's going to be really broken. Because these are, remember, these are all still welded to this one fucking wheel, so. But we'll have to, we'll, we'll do the weld in a second. We'll do
Now the fun part is where you go into this, 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 and then just hold Alt and click wheel. Boom. Partly because I got interrupted by my little brother and, and his friend. Um, again, I'm just going to connect this cosmetic wheel to this wheel. no red line like this between the wheels so this means I did everything correctly which is nice to know Okay, I know it's a bit late in the tutorial, but if you notice I put stats point to and original material and original color Ignore that. I just fucking put those in because the other wheels had them. I don't know if they're actually necessary If your tracks don't work, make sure you also have these. Maybe they might work. Just copy them from one of the other tracks uh, Perfect, we have the tracks. Now, to tell you how to change the width, it's also a pretty simple thing. Um, so you see my tracks are like, if you want custom 3D tracks, then this is not your tutorial, because I don't know how to do those, but we're just gonna use the Fury tracks. If you go to, um, if you close, close, the wheel, close the wheels, you don't need that shit anymore for now. Um, go to motor, not motors, I mean beams, and Every scroll down you see width 0, width 1 select everything with 4.2 so great my friends are now blocking my view thank you Steam, great place ok uh, let's just quickly set this to like 2. Point. ok yeah, it's not changed the change the wrong side of the tracks so give me a second Sorry, I'm eating my dinner, but I'm also doing the tutorial at the same time. Um, I'm just gonna keep selecting shit until it keeps showing forward to. So I'm gonna select every prismatic going to a. Oh, never mind. These cursed. B's alright. Most of this is just guesswork, unless you can actually figure out uh, figure out which ones are the correct. Uh, I'm pretty sure these origins are just yeah okay let's change this now let's change these values with zero and then the, and then with one that's actually about what I want it to be pretty confident with this um, maybe I'll make it a bit thinner so I'll make it 3.1 yeah 3.1 looks good 3.1 looks great actually I fucked everything up great you might be wondering how but it's this thing called fucking roblox and it's obnoxious if you actually fuck up something just keep undoing until it works um, you might notice there's like a gap here I'll cover that in a second it's just it's really just selecting um, attachment points and moving them anyways so now we have slightly accurate tracks so if I just copy this again, I'm just gonna compare these. Oh, oh. I have to make these sh sh shorter. The size looks fine. I just need to make them shorter, way shorter. So back to going to the sets. Um, oh yeah, pro tip: you, you can just right click this and collapse all, and it just closes everything, which is nice. Um, let's see. Yep. 
just keep doing this. The crying never stops, guys. The crying never stops. And... Now this is about more accurate. This is nice. It almost fits in. <laughs> Amazing. Um, if I actually put this on the ground, you might be able to see the heights. Um, we'll actually deal with this height. I'm going to make this go up as well in a second. So let's just let me just eat. Let me finish eating. We're back um, in action. Uh, now you see these. This my actual tracks for the model are a bit taller than these tracks. So, and what am I gonna do? Quite of course I'm gonna fucking do something about it. I'm gonna, um, now this is my favorite, not my favorite part, but I felt, I mean, I, 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 I hate doing this, but, so it's not my favorite part, but, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever the fuck. If I just go to, tracks I just select the parents, I mean select children, not just fucking parent. Children, just keep selecting children like your Jeffrey Epstein. That's a fucking bad fucking joke. I'm gonna get cancelled now. Um just tick visible on everything. Like you see something? Visible. You don't see something? Visible. Once you have visible on everything, we can actually begin work now. Um, so, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be increasing the height of the tracks. So this means we're going to have set, we're going to have this wheel, this wheel. I just... Now I did fuck up, uh, I forgot to put one wheel in, that's all. So. Hello, it is me. And there was meant to be a clip here about how to do these. Do you see this is the completed product? Um, I decided not to do that clip because I, it was confusing and hard to understand. So I'll just explain everything here. So if you go to your so your set ones and set sixes, the top is going to be nine to I think uh, six. Yep. Um, so if you want to raise your things, then you can do it like that. And then same with prismatic ones, one, two, five. Zero is only the suspension here, which I'm not gonna mess with yet, but I might do a tutorial on suspensions like that soon. So I raised these um, using just like, using just this, and then using this and the wheel. I mean the wheel inside prismatic. And then I just moved these to correlate with it. That's all. Um, what else do you need to know? These, you can just literally drag these out. These are pretty easy to remember because the bottom ones here are prismatic. I mean, Origin 5 and Origin 4. And as I mentioned already, these are prismatic 9s to 6s um, and stuff, and prismatic 8 and prismatic 9 for the width here. Blah 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 blah. Let's go on with the tutorial after that part. Children, and nothing's visible again. So here is our finished tank tracks. <coughs> How long did it take us? It took us quite a bit. It's the most time-consuming process. It's not complicated though. That's the part. That's the good part. In my opinion, at least, it's not complicated. So. I'm just going to insert this into my game, which is tanks, tanks, tanks. I'm just going to plug my game because fuck you guys. <laughs> if you're watching my tutorial up to this point and watched me go for like mental issues. So I'm just going to open my game up. Funnily enough, you'll notice Steam VR opening uh, whenever I open my game. That's something that happened for whatever reason. It's probably because I'm I'm fooling I'm fooling Roblox into thinking I'm playing VR. That's probably why. Or I realized I have a VR headset. Turns out me playing the game, the audio was louder than my microphone, so you can barely hear me. But um, this is just the end of the video. Uh, I don't do anything else. 
this is the end of the tutorial I talk about stuff like suspension really quickly and my game and stuff and how I'm gonna do more tutorials but that's about it enjoy plugged in my piece what the fuck was that resolution <laughs> okay uh, more fun than music playing something yes just a difference it's kind of I have not moved any parts yet, but if you notice, the tracks were... if you made this far into video into the video then thank you because I put a shitload of effort into doing this it's like it's been almost two hours actually it's almost basically been two hours of editing I mean recording and editing I was gonna write a script for this but I realized at the same time I should just do it you know on the go because my improvisational skills from drama have to go somewhere um, again, my Discord group, Tanks, Tanks, Tanks. Uh, DM me on Discord if you want to be invited to it. It's just where I have fictional tanks and some real tanks. And there's like tank combat and shit like that. And the map you saw in the gameplay. Again, thank you for watching. Um, please drop a like and subscribe. Because, um, you know, it'd be nice to get some acclaim from the... Fury community from this. Check your description for like all the plugins I've used. If you have any questions for anything, DM me personally. Uh, I'm pretty sure I, I'm just repeating everything I said when I was playing the game, but you probably didn't hear all that because the tank was so fucking loud. Um, I'll do a video on audio libraries and stuff, probably, and shells. See ya!